This goes to the principal responsibility of the Security Council, maintaining international peace and security. A broader conflict would be devastating, not only for Palestinians and Israelis, but for people across the region and, indeed, around the world. To that end, we call on all member states to send a firm, united message to any state or non-state actor that is considering opening another front in this conflict against Israel, or who may target Israel's partners, including the United States. Don't, don't throw fuel on the fire. Members of this Council, and permanent members in particular, have a special responsibility to prevent this conflict from spreading. I look forward to continuing to work with my counterpart from the People's Republic of China to do precisely that when he visits Washington later this week. Now, it is no secret to anyone in this room or on this Council that for years Iran has supported Hamas, Hezbollah, the Houthis, and other groups that continue to carry out attacks on Israel. Iranian leaders have routinely threatened to wipe Israel off the map. In recent weeks, Iran's proxies have repeatedly attacked U.S. personnel in Iraq and Syria, whose mission is to prevent ISIS from renewing its rampage. So, let me say this before this Council, and let me say what we've consistently said to Iranian officials through other channels. The United States does not seek conflict with Iran. We do not want this war to widen. But if Iran or its proxies attack U.S. personnel anywhere, make no mistake, we will defend our people, we will defend our security swiftly and decisively. To all the members of this Council, if you, like the United States, want to prevent this conflict from spreading, tell Iran, tell its proxies, in public, in private, through every means, do not open another front against Israel in this conflict. Do not attack Israel's partners. And we urge members to go a step further. Make clear that if Iran or its proxies widen this conflict and put more civilians at risk, you, you will hold them accountable. Act as if the security and stability of the entire region and beyond is on the line, because it is.